on the best addiction. Addiction usually refers to something bad, but what if I told you this one can be a good thing? What if I... See, I currently have an addiction to creativity. I can't do it without my glasses. See, I'm currently addicted to creativity, and it's completely changed my life for the better, although there are some side effects, like emo snoring. So how did creativity better my life, and what are these side effects? And what is this glare on my glasses? Let me explain. The glare on my glasses is from the thoughts that I typed up on the computer that I'm just reading off. Creativity lowers stress and as a kid I was put through so much stress that I was literally traumatized and developed PTSD which I highly recommend don't ever get because it just sucks. Like really bad. It makes life very difficult at times. You would rather get something done and be productive but you can't. You're frozen and you just can't do anything. I'm going off script there but like I just felt like I had to get to a point across, like, I mean, it's gonna develop differently in each person, but just don't ever get it if you can't avoid having PTSD, I highly recommend that. Anyway, creativity allows me to escape from this world into all sorts of fantasy with stories and tabletop games and that I like to make, again, still talking about when I was a kid, and then we get to high school where these creative works evolved into coding video games and more story writing so instead of some writing like two page stories i'm writing like full manuscripts at this point instead of making card games and board games and tabletop games we're programming video games from scratch um sometimes using i'm, I'm using a game engine sometimes i'm not then we get to college when i joined youtube and streaming the ultimate creator format which, fun fact, you will never find my first YouTube channel because I actually started YouTube at the tail end of high school, but that channel has been deleted. <laughs> anyway, I uploaded simple gaming videos and occasionally game dev vlogs and even a few tutorials alongside a video game trailer. You may have heard of this game called Retropath. Okay, cut that up. I made a game that got so much attention that it even started getting shared on Reddit and streamers would share reviews on while they show their audience the game, which was really cool. Um, I don't know if the Reddit post is still up, but that was random. Okay, you gotta leave a like for that. <laughs> he did that of his own accord, that was not... <laughs> he wants to hug you guys. So... Maybe subscribe for that. It's gonna be in all of the videos. Anyway, so I don't know if the Reddit posts are still up, but it was really cool to have support on a game that I made that literally got a, f a few thousand people playing the game and talking about the game. It's called Retropath if you're interested in it. Um, I never thought that'd be possible for something I make to actually get thousands of people's attention. enjoy to my life so it changed my life in that aspect of the creativity um because both making my own games plus i'm making a video about said game and it actually like it wasn't like oh just one person heard about it like quite a bit of people did and anyway so the subscribers i gained on this channel have also brought me a lot of happiness and the more subscribers i gained the more self-confidence rolls up in me because I realized I can actually do things. I can problem solve. Um, I was told several times as a child that I don't know how to problem solve when in reality my solutions were just frowned upon and disagreed with and instead of being told that my solution wasn't the same solution that other people had thought of, I was just told that I am unable to come up with solutions and that I need to learn how to come up with solutions which tore down my self-confidence a lot un until YouTube when I realized I can do things. I just do things differently. And so I learned I can develop skills and I can be somebody to someone. And for that, I just want to say thank you. In the uh, BS era before subs, 
also known as Bull, you know, and if you don't, then you're too young. I was nervous and looking for approval. After subs, I'm confident and I feel like I've proved myself. I'm, I feel like I'm on the right track. Those side effects since have made me who I am today alongside all of you. Um, the side effects I keep meshing are simply forms of obsession over YouTube. I constantly think of new ideas, titles, what could be this thumbnail format, what could be, what could be fixing this description, could I try recording this way, could I try recording that way, maybe I should change niches, maybe I should try this new editing style, um, I'm constantly getting that in my head, like, how do I create the most accessory experience for you, how do I make a ch video that both children and adults would like, and that I would like, um, how does the video get pushed out, why people click, why people don't want to click on my videos, and so many aspects of running a YouTube channel, and it just won't go away, it's all in my brain, and it just won't leave, and if that's what it takes to increase my happiness in life, then honestly it's worth it, and you know what's also worth it is clicking this pop-up video that YouTube says you're gonna love, you're gonna enjoy it, so I'll see you over there.